where the street is. It's about 60 miles from here. And uh, I'm going to get on the water as soon as daylight hits. So about 7 o'clock, I'm going to take off and uh, make sure I can get there. There's a, a free park, I guess, that has electricity and all the services that I can stay at. So that's where I'm heading. Um, I'm going to stop and buy a heater. I, I guess there's a Walmart not very far from there. So i got to buy a heater because I'm, I'm tired of freezing at night. And uh, with this new adapter that I, I bought from a guy uh, yesterday, I can plug into shore power and run everything I need to run. So uh, that will be nice. But uh, I'm going to eat some breakfast and get underway, and, and then uh, I'll let you uh, know what, what the next step is a walk this morning to go throw the trash away and on the way back to the boat I look over and I see this now this has got to be oh I would say probably 35 feet long or so I mean it's it's a big pontoon but it's awesome it's got this big deck out in the front and it, it had a deck up the top all the, the deck railing is laying up there it, but uh, it's like a an old version of my boat but this one looks like it may have been built at a factory it's got uh, like RV windows in it and stuff let's see if I can tell what year it was used last uh, 2014 it was registered in 2014 so it's hasn't been sitting here for that long no motor on it so I just got a little box for a generator over there. Anyway, that's really cool. That's what my next one will be. I have to get get some big barge pontoons or something like that. It's 40 feet long. Realize that you need a little bit more room to roam than what I have. And also, I've got to work on some sort of front steering system. This driving from the back is getting old quick. My rudder didn't work like I thought it would. So, back to the drawing board. It's 7 o'clock on uh, Tuesday. I'm just trying to get my bearings here. Um, okay, so... I'm leaving Burns Harbor, which is basically this little place. It's got a little restaurant and bars, got ice, and I don't think they even sell fuel here. But uh, anyway, just a little bitty place. Guy was nice enough to let me uh, use his buddy's slip, his, his uh, friend that ties up right next to him. Uh, just took his boat out yesterday. So I stayed right there. Hammer was the uh, guy that let me use the slip. So, we're underway. Alright, so I'm on the river and I couldn't ask for any better conditions. It's, it's perfectly smooth and really straight. So I, I set the steering wheel a little while ago, perfectly straight, and now all I have to do is, if I need to turn left, I stand on the left side of the boat, and now it's not real quick obviously, but uh, it's so straight here, I mean I've got about as far as I can see, but um, yeah, I just I turn right, I turn and stand on the right side of the boat, it's, it's, I don't know, I just really excited today about things going well this this is what I hoped that this trip would be like the first two days really beat me down and uh, I started thinking about maybe it's, it's just too much of an undertaking for me but I guess you know you, you can't fight mother nature and uh, the waves out on, on Lake Michigan weren't something that, that I could deal with but it, it, it's definitely going to be something to talk about later. Uh, but the view, the view is fantastic. Let me turn this thing around. So that's 
that's the view from the front deck. I got my chair out here so I can just uh, hang out. Look at the scenery, it's beautiful. This is all like stone lined down here, the granite or whatever that is. So it's really pretty. I'm hoping to get to Joliet today. This is uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So I guess this is day four. I'm, I've completely lost track of days. Um, I'm going to get a few things. Um, I, I'm going to get a mirror. I think I'm going to buy a, a mirror for skiing so I can put it up here because I'm constantly paranoid. There'll be a barge or something come up behind me that I don't see. So i got to get some sort of a mirror up there so that while I'm sitting in my chair here, I don't have to get up to, uh, to look behind me all the time. It's hard to relax when you have to get up and down, up and down. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to show you the scenery a little bit. Beautiful out here. Okay, so uh, I realized downstairs that I could steer the boat just by standing on one side or the other of the boat. And anyway, I felt kind of cramped. I was down on that little uh, four foot deck down there. It's four feet by eight feet. So I decided that, uh, I'm gonna close this up a little bit. Decided I'm gonna try upstairs and see if it works up there too. So I came upstairs and uh, it is perfect. I mean, I, if I need to turn to the left, I just stand on the left side of the deck and vice versa. But now I've got an eight by 14 deck and I can hear the motor that is running, but it's really, really quiet up here because I've got the, uh, the whole loft between me and the motor. And I've got my, my grill up here. See, I've got my little grill got my uh, wood pellet fire pit up here got my zero gravity chair so I'm gonna be set I'm uh, oh, what am I eight feet I think up you can see eight feet off the water or so and uh, yeah there's nothing to hit so I, I can see a mile before uh, if I needed to get down there to slow down or shut the motor off or anything I got a ton of time to do that so this is gonna be my new hangout um, it's supposed to rain later today so I have to go back downstairs but uh, I, I never even thought about being able to be up here while I was under power because I didn't think I'd be able to steer so I'm pretty excited about this it, it, it really uh, you know like doubles my my space so I don't have to be downstairs cramped where I've got everything shoved in every little corner that I could find so anyway it's good news it's getting better the first the first two days sucked so I'm def definitely excited to have some good news once in a while so that's that's it for now um, okay so I decided to stop make a little lunch uh, I've been on the water for I don't know five or six hours but anyway I, I decided I was ready to stop so uh, I found this little uh, inlet I don't know if it's some kind of a, a water plant over here behind me that uh, says a uh, city of Chicago I can't believe that something from the city of Chicago is this far away I'm I don't know maybe 15 miles from Julia Illinois but uh, anyway made a little bit of spaghetti had some uh, Newman's own which happens to be the best spaghetti sauce I've ever had. Uh, it's called Sakaruni. Anyway, try it out. It's good. Um, all right. I think I'm going to probably make a video with the drone. I was a little paranoid about putting it in the air while I was moving. 
uh, just in case it uh, decided to land on its own uh, because it does return to home and if I was moving down the river uh, the home would be way behind me so I'm gonna try it here and uh, if it does try to return to home at least I'll be within a few feet of where it's supposed to be and I can I can just finish uh, landing it manually when it gets close but uh, anyway it's been a been a, a fantastic day so far uh, Joe Dietrich just called me he and I went on a river trip my first one on uh, Tippy River which was I think we went 33 miles that day um, we had to quit we originally wanted to go all the way down to Indiana Beach from uh, from Talma on the uh, Tippy River but there was so many log jams that it took us uh, well we started at 6 in the morning and finally about yeah, 9 o'clock uh, oh sorry my radio was talking about 9 o'clock at night we finally just gave it up because we we kept uh, having to take everything out of the boat carry it around a big log jam put everything back together and it would take us over an hour every time we did that so we gave up but uh, Anyway, it was, it was a blast, and uh, it just made me want to do this trip even more. So, anyway, I'm going to get the drone in the air and see what we can see. It's uh, 3 o'clock. I'm in Lockport, Illinois. Um, I'm waiting to lock through. There's a, uh, well, I guess one of several locks I've got to go through, but this one um, is pretty close to the next one. So I've got one here. I've got one in Joliet. And they've got a channel that, for everybody else monitors channel 16, and this guy's channel 14. So I got on the internet and got their phone number and was able to call them and, and find that out. But they don't have any signs anywhere as to what, what channel to use or who to contact or anything. So if, I, if a guy didn't have a smartphone, I don't, I don't know what you do here. You just sit and wait, I guess. But uh, anyway, that's, that's where I'm at. It's about eight hours into the trip. And really, I should be at uh, Joliet in about an hour I think and then I'm going to go to either Walmart or a Home Depot something like that get some of the things that I need um, I really like to have have a heater for a night it gets cold at night so I'm gonna see if I can't buy an electric heater and uh, also I've got to fill up my fuel tanks I've got uh, 14 gallons plus uh, another five in the in the tank so 
about 19 gallons of fuel left, which uh, I'm getting about six miles per gallon, which isn't, isn't very good. It's about the same as all my work trucks. But uh, I need to fill all my tanks up, make sure that I've got plenty of fuel. Uh, the, the fuel stops are pretty close here, but I'd just rather have too much fuel than not enough. So that's my next stop. All right, so here we are in Lockport, Illinois. And this is the biggest lock I've ever been to. Of course, I've only been through uh, two of them now, so I guess that's not much to say. But this thing has got to be, I don't know, I'm guessing 40 feet high or more. Surely it, it must say someplace around here how tall it is. So I'll, I'll find out. They haven't signaled me to go yet. They, They've got a, a green light and then a fog horn that goes off. Sometimes video doesn't do things justice, but those uh, steel bumpers right there have about 14 inches between them. So I would guess maybe it's two foot centers. And uh, they go up and up. Oh, hey, there's a Lockmaster up there. How tall is this? Awesome. Okay, he says it's 39 foot drop, 45 feet of wall. Here we go. All right. Uh, I, I just realized when I've been videotaping myself that I have a habit of rubbing my head and I guess I, I never knew that maybe everybody else knows I do that anyway that's a weird way to start a video um, it's uh, night of day four I'm making some dinner I'm in Joliet Illinois and the, the city has this free wall um, along the, the river here where is, is transient docking. You can pull up, tie your boat up here, it's free. They've got power stations about every 40 feet. It's free electricity you can use. Um, and there's a few other boats lined up here also. So that's awesome to be able to have somewhere for you to stay. Um, it's attached to a park where there's a, it's a lot of light so it's safe. And uh, there's also a big dumpster outside that you can put stuff at. I read some reviews about it and everybody's they've been really, really happy with it. Um, yeah, so I'm making brats for dinner. I got to go to Walmart tonight, which was really needed. Um, I called a taxi. I, I walked to a uh, casino, Harris Casino, across the river and uh, got a taxi. Uh, he took me to Walmart where I got a heater, so no more cold nights. That was really getting old. And then uh, I also bought a few other odd and end things I needed, extra batteries for my radio, and uh, God, you know, it's terrible. I can't remember what I got. Oh, a strainer uh, and a pan, so I can cook spaghetti and mac and cheese without struggling. Y yesterday, you know, when you don't have a strainer, it's really tough to get the water out of spaghetti. I never realized that, but half of it went in the river um, when I was pouring it out. So I've got, got everything I need now. Uh, I've got some clear tape so I can uh, work on this window. I've got a window that came loose. It's kind of a, a problem, but I'll, I'll fix that either tonight or tomorrow. Uh, that's really about it. Um, I'm excited to be having a good time finally. Uh, today was fantastic. Um, weather held out. I uh, got to go through a, a huge lock. So it's, it, was, it was really a good day. Today was was the kind of day that I needed because uh, Saturday and Sunday really took the wind out of my sails for lack of a better term. Um, so anyway, this is where I'm at, Joliet, Illinois, day four, and I'm looking forward to uh, day five. I'm going to try and post the videos tonight. I've been so tired. I haven't hardly been sleeping at all, so I haven't taken the time to post videos. Um, so I'm going to try and do that tonight so everybody can kind of keep up on what's going on. The first the first couple of days, the videos are going to be really bad because it's, it's tough to make good, interesting videos when uh, 
when you're really feeling bummed about being stranded and almost dying. You know, it's yeah, it's normal, I think. But um, anyway, so we'll get those up tonight. See ya.